right, today we are going to finally give you an update on our lights. Um, we've had nothing here but snow, rain, freezing rain. The kids have missed 16 days of school because of uh, bad road conditions. So let's leave this icy mess and go inside and see uh, what our update is. Everybody. Good morning, every. I already said good morning. Oh, okay. You see my truck over there in the ditch? No, I'll uh, show them on the way. I had to hold on for dear life coming down here. It took me 20 minutes to get to work. Anyways, guys, it's been a while since we've given you an update. We thought we'd better give you an update on the lettuce under the lights for the trial we're doing. So I'll just put this away and we'll head down there. I'll just put this back and we'll head up to the front. See how easy that is, guys? Here we go. So I think, guys, you can see from the, the growth in here from the last time you were you took a video, the whole greenhouse is kind of picking up and growing a lot faster. But today is February the 6th, I believe? No. Oh, the 8th. The 8th. So we've hit our magic day right in northern Ontario. We're, we're getting 10 hours of light, which makes a huge, huge difference. It's like a light switch went on in here. Things are really starting to, to pop now and production's way up. Uh, since our last video, we had all kinds of comments, which is great. It's all great stuff. We're learning stuff. Some of it's pretty technical for for, for me anyways. I, I'm not really that up on all this technical stuff. And it's more here we do it trial and error and we learn as we go. And uh, we just wanted to show you what's happening with this, this, this experiment here. A lot of people comment on the height of our lights and the strength of our lights and the amount we run them. So I just want to explain a bit about what we're doing here. Because we do get a lot of natural daylight. You can see, yeah, we're covered in snow today, but there's still a lot of light coming through here. So we're just interested in supplemental lighting. The whole thing here is we sell 90% of our lettuce goes out as a mix. And the balance goes out as head. So saying that is we, we're looking for increased weight per trough. In the poorest time of the season, in the, in the, in the really poor part, December, January, I only average maybe just a little over a pound of trough, which, which isn't a lot. So what we're trying to do is increase. So any increase with these lights is going to be really financially a big improvement for us. Now we're getting up to three or four pounds per trough. Well, you can see right there, we're getting $9 a trough when it's at its poorest. With the lights, we're up to $36 a trough. That's a huge difference. So when I do the calculations, the cost of the lights and the energy to run these lights, it, it, the recovery time is really quick. We'll, we'll, we'll pay these back, lights back in one winter, less than a winter. So it's well worth it. Uh, you can see I've got them on two different heights. And a lot of people told me I was way too high. Well, I do see that this height is at 48 inches. That was at 54. 48 inches, I come out at night, 48 inches is giving me a lot more light at the ends of the trough. And you can see the lettuce here. It's pretty even all the way through. It's beautiful. Well, so uh, we're happy with this height as a supplemental lighting. Of course, the cost is another issue a lot of people ask me about. In Ontario, we have three different hydro rates, peak, mid-peak, and off-peak. So the off-peak is runs from 7 to 7, 7 at night, 7 in the morning. So, of course, that's when I'm going to run the lights. It's a lot cheaper. It's uh, 6 and a half cents a kilowatt. So when you do the calculations, to run this whole greenhouse, 23 lights, for a 10-hour shift, it, it works out to about $2.25 a night. So, you know, times 7 days a week, you know, I'm about $15, $16 a week. Well, that's only a pound, you know, that's only a pound and a half of lettuce. But I'm harvesting 40 trays of lettuce every week. Now I've got an extra three pounds per tray, another 120 20 pounds every week to uh, sell. Well, you can do the math right there. That'll tell you, you know, it's well worth, worth uh, investing in the lights. And it'll really help with the 10 hours of natural daylight that we're getting now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And as the days get longer, I'll shorten up the amount of time I run the lights. We're going to drop it down to eight hours shortly at night, and uh, the plants can have a bit of a rest. Uh, we did do, started a 30, 30 five day trial, but we're going to come down here. So 
So these five trees have been under this one light uh, for about so 25 days now, I guess. So we've got another 10 days. Next Friday, we're going to harvest these no matter what and weigh them out. Well, I have the same five trays farther down with no lights. And what we'll do next week, we'll put them here side by side so you can actually see the comparison of the color, quality of the lettuce under the light. You know, and, the, and it'll be interesting to see which variety. I have five varieties here. I can already see the Tropic Canada. Tropic Canada just takes off under, under the light. Now it does well without the light as well, but there's a lot of weight here. I also find that there's um, a darker color under the light. Oh yeah, definitely. The reds are, the reds are beautiful the under the light. Are more vibrant. And you can take a look down here. Everything's starting to pop now. It's awesome. So, uh, I mean, I hope that helps you a little bit, especially the cost of running the lights, you know, compared to the sodium lights. I know I'm not getting any heat out of them, you know, but I'm heating this greenhouse anyways. Not very warm, and we only keep it at 58. Uh, these are all cool crops. Now, it would be a little better, a little bit warmer. So, I mean, with the lights, if I'm getting the extra production, I can afford to crank up the heat a little bit more. But, you know, it's a nice, comfortable temperature to work at. And uh, it makes all the difference in the world. 40 weeks, 40 weeks out of the year, this thing just pumps a product like you wouldn't believe. And then there's about 12 to 14 weeks of it. You know, it's a tough go. It's still, the, it's just as much work, and you're not really, you know, get the production light so this will make a world of difference we'll just we'll keep you updated next week we'll uh, do the harvest and we'll see how we make out not to mention in a lot of the comments that we're getting are you know it's pretty interesting reading for me but a lot of people don't realize you look in here i'm in a greenhouse i'm not in a building or in a basement uh i make a living off of this and production weight means everything to us uh, and some people don't realize when I, when I start saying a one pound of trough in the wintertime doesn't sound like much. But the other 10 months of the year, we're getting 12 to 15 pounds of trough. So, you know, that's phenomenal production. And, and I'll never achieve that in the winter. But if I can get three or four pounds or up to five pounds of trough in the winter, it'll just make all the difference. In the world. It means the difference of us expanding and, and setting up another one of these hydroponic greenhouses. And um, do you want to also explain about the um, Jiffy that we were using? Oh yes, we, we said we were going to do some tests with the Jiffy pucks. Uh, we started them off in the nursery. We found that some varieties didn't do all that well, but in our system they just weren't. The time it took because they wanted to fall over, they didn't sit flat. That's what came to it in the end. They just, you know, they just didn't seem to work in our trays. We are going to do use them again. We are going to use them in the soil when we start our spring planting for our outdoor stuff. But for our purposes here, we found it just time. It was just the time that was involved, and they were falling over in the troughs, and it just it just wasn't what we were used to, and, and it just took too much time. So we sort of so the oasis is yeah, the way to oasis go. Oasis is what we've started with, and we're going to stick with it. Just so much more. Good. So, Good. so Anyways, I hope that helped, guys, and we'll see you next week. All right. Bye. See you guys. So this is what uh, Wayne was talking about. His truck just slid. Good thing there's a bit of a bank there because he would have went right down into the pond. Good old Canadian winters.